or trapped within, except for him because he wrote the timeline. He does allow for us to choose the character we want to be. I don't know how else to say it. They may feel as if they are free to do what they want, right? But they are still trapped within God's story. Because in God's book, he has written that there will be those in the end times who reject him and who will make fun of those who believe in him. And so again, we get to choose who we will be in God to choose what character we will be in the story he has authored. war against the satanic forces, the uh, spiritual wickedness, where? In high places. And so what we want to do is see what is the original Greek word that was used for high places? Well, okay, uh, is the word eporaneus. And eporaneus refers to what? Existing in the heavens, things that take place in heaven, the celestial region. Still accurate to say the domain of where these spiritual forces of darkness are, are in high or you could say heavenly places because that same word there is used to translate the word heavenly. And so in this, in currently roaming around in the heavenly realm, has Revelation 12 verse 8 happened yet? Because it clearly says that when he and his forces are thrown down, they will lose their place in the heavens. Hmm. Because he will be thrown down to the earth, the Antichrist will rise. Verse 1. And I saw an angel coming down out of heaven, having the key to the abyss and holding in his hand a great chain. Verse 3. And he threw him into the abyss and locked and sealed it over him to keep him from deceiving the nations any more until the thousand years were ended. After that, he must be set free for a short time. He was cast into the bottomless pit. But again, you know, if you look at the original Greek word there, uh, the bottomless pit there is translated from the Greek word abyssos, which is where we get the word abyss. And so even in the King James Version, really all versions, the root word there is abyss. And what does that refer to? It refers to, of course, the bottomless pit. And it is used in the Bible to refer to Often the lowest parts in the earth were the realm of the dead, especially the abode of demons. Calm before the storm right here. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. And the great dragon was cast out, 
that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up, and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh.